Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is fourth video of our conversational AI series. In the first video, we built an hotel booking chatbot. In the second video, we connected that chatbot with the AWS Lambda, which is a backend for your chatbot. And you could use that backend for, you know, the user input validation and also for making database entries. So let's uh, think of like when user books and hotel, you want to make sure you put the information related to hotel booking, like location, the number of rooms or how many days they are staying into the database. That is something you do in a part two as a part, uh, you know, inside the AWS Lambda. In the third part, we saw how to connect our Amazon Lakes chatbot with the WhatsApp service so that, you know, user should be able to book hotel using its WhatsApp. So in the fourth part, we're going to see how can we access the same Amazon Lex chatbot programmatically. When I say programmatically, it could be using your Python programming language or using your you know JavaScript programming language so that you can integrate that Amazon Lex chatbot service into your application. That's what we're going to see today. And for that, we're going to use a Boto3 library, which is a AWS SDK for Python and which allows us to access different services of AWS like Amazon S3 or the Amazon Lakes what we're going to see today. So if you could remember we have built this uh, we have built this you know hotel booking chatbot or oh, sorry yeah chatbot and uh, let me show you a quick demo like what we did actually. So if you say book hotel it will recognize that it is related to the hotel booking and it will try to get some information from me. Now it is asking which city I would like to stay. Let me put some city name here. And once it got the city name, it wants to know when I want, when I'm going to check in. So let me put some date also here. Now it is asking me how many days or nights. Let me put some value and some value for the room type. And then it is asking me to confirm once it has received all this information. And if I say yes, it will do it hotel reservation for me. This is the functionality of bot. Now what we have used is the default chatbot window of the Amazon Lakes, but you can use it the other way. In the previous video, we have used the same kind of functionality using the WhatsApp. Today we will see how can we do this thing programmatically. Okay. So for, for that thing, let me go to the notebook that is the Colab notebook. And as I said, we're going to need this Boto3 library. So let's install and import this Boto3 library. Okay, now we have this Boto3 library. Let me clear this output. And we can use this Boto3 library to connect any AWS services. So today we want to connect the Amazon Lex, which is called Lex V2 runtime service. So we use the Boto3 client function, give the service name, and then some common information, which we pass most of the AWS services. What is the information? One is the region name. Every time you access any service, which is with respect to some AWS region. And these things are nothing but AWS access key and the secret key. When you get AWS access, when you create the account there, you should get these two information because that is something you use for the authentication and authorization. So I have already created one user for the purpose of this demo and I have this access key and the secret key. So we can use this, all this information and we should be able to access the Lake P2 service. We call it as a client now. Now, once we have this, AWS client, which is capable of, you know, um, accessing the, our Lex V2, which is nothing but our Amazon Lex chatbot. We need to tell which bot we want to access. So there are certain information that we need to pass. So one is the bot ID, which is nothing but which bot we want to access. Then bot alias ID. Again, bot can have a different aliases. You can think of alias kind of nothing but some kind of a snapshot. Your bot might have different versions and you will attach some of those versions to the alias. You can think of some snapshot. And then local ID is nothing but for which language you have built that particular bot. And the session ID, you need to pass some session ID to this particular service so that it can remember the subsequent conversation you're going to have. If you pass every time the same session ID, it knows that, bot knows that you are the same person who has given this earlier information. It's kind of maintaining that particular session. So how can we get those information? Let's get it this bot ID. So if you go to our again, Amazon Lex console, uh, if you click on your bot here, you can see your hotel booking bot. And then you can see here, 
the bot id i have just copied that particular bot id here next thing we want is the alias id on the left side panel in the deployment section you could see the aliases click on that you will see if you have any aliases now this is the particular alias that i have created which is associated some version 2 what i have you might be having some different alias or version let me click on that particular alias and you will have alias id i have already copied that id also here alias id and then you could see this particular alias or bot is associated with the english language for each language there is some code associated on the amazon lex developer guide you can go and see for english us uh, i think where is it we need to see the uh, english us yeah here sorry it's here so we have to use this particular code and that's what i think i have used it here and i have given one session id it could be 100 101 or 123 this is the id you should generate as your client application so let's say user is interacting with the amazon lakes via your web application then it's your responsibility to generate some unique session id for that user so that you can pass that session id with every request you will come to know what i am exactly saying so let me run this cell so that all these variable get these values and then once you have this thing we already have this client aws lex client it has a method called recognize text that recognize text requires the information that what we specified on above and we can pass some text to it so let me run this thing Okay, we got some response now you could see this response is kind of overwhelming but i will focus on a few things one is the message this is the message or reply i got from the amazon lakes which is nothing but the bot it is asking me what city will you be staying so definitely it has recognized what i want to uh, book a hotel or something and you can see all this information mentioned here in the session state in the session state, we have two important things. One is the dialogue action and the intent and the slot. Okay. So these are three important things. I have actually printed them down so that we can discuss it here. If you look at in the session state, I have printed the intent name, which is bot has identified by my text that I am interested in booking hotel. That is my intent. It has also decided the next action, which is nothing but the dialogue action type, which is say illicit slot. If you could remember from our previous videos that illicit slot is an action bot takes when it wants to get some information from the user. And what is that information? Those are the variables are nothing but the slots. Now here next action says illicit slot means once bot identified that I want to book hotel, it actually wants to know some information from me. And what information it is looking for? It is asking for that next slot. If you see dialogue action slot to illicit, it is asking me a slot location and how does it asking me it has sent me this message what city will you be saying so this is how bot works it has identified intent now it started asking me the question now since it is asking me what city will you be saying in the next request i will tell which city i want to stay so i am going to pass text as in mumbai and you could see all other previous information remain the same all variables and important thing is session id since i am going to pass the same session id what I, I pass here, which is 100, now the bot knows I am the same person who has passed that previous text because of this session ID. So let's pass the location name since it is asked by bot and let's print again from information. Now you could see once I pass the Mumbai or the location name, bot still thinks that it all related to the book hotel and it is still want to elicit some slots, still some more information is needed. This time it wants to know the check-in date and how this is how it is asking me what date do you want to check in so let me pass some date to it and i will pass the date and i will see what is the response i get it is again still want to ask me something now this time it is asking me the night slot how it is asking how many nights will you be staying if you could say this is the same thing what we saw when we interacted here the sequence of the conversation is doing same only instead of this uh, interface we are doing with the programmatically and we are passing our session id so that bot remembers who are we right so let's pass some value for you know how many nights i will pass some value here and it still want to ask me something it is asking me room type by saying this and i am passing one of that room type now okay 
Now let's see what response we got. Looks like let's look at the message. Now since it has got all the information, it is trying to confirm the information that I provided the three nights stay in Mumbai this particular day. And it is what shall I put the reservation? Now it is asking for my confirmation. Let's look at the session data and look at the dialogue option. Now see dialogue option is different. Here dialogue action was illicit slot, nothing but wanted some more information. Here it doesn't want no more information, rather it wants to confirm my intent, whether this is what I want to do, okay? And you could also see in the response, all the slots value it has extracted, check in date, location, nights and everything. Now let's confirm it. Next thing, we will pass the same request with the confirmation, yes, I want to confirm. Well, let's see what message we got bot saying that thanks it has placed my reservation because i confirm and let's look at the session what is the action it has selected next action it has selected closing the conversation and it has a close the conversation so this is how we can programmatically access the uh, the bot or you can think of any amazon service using the boto3 client give your service name and pass your authentication or authorization information in the case of AWS, it's actually the access key and the secret key. And then only one method we have used, which is the client.recognize text. Pass all the bot related info. And every time we keep this thing constant and we keep changing our text. And that text is depend on what actually bot is asking us in the messages. And that's what we did. Okay, so this was the fourth video in our series. Now we should be able to access programmatically that particular bot. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any comments and suggestions, let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. I do create videos related to natural language processing, mostly using, let's say, conversational AI, or it could be the GPT-3 videos or a Transformers-related video. Thank you.